What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Having Said That Show. I'm your co-host, Adi, alongside Jay. What's up, guys? Long time since we've been on this setup without a guest. Yeah, it has. It feels so fucking yeah. weird. It feels weird, but at the same time, I feel like it's normal. You know what I mean? I like, prefer the I old one, bro. I don't know why people don't like that old one. There's that one guy who comments on all the videos and he's like, <laughs> bring the old setup back. <laughs> and then we did in the Anais episode, he was like, I'm so glad. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> That's for that dude, yeah. bro. I don't know yeah, his name. Yeah. So guys, to give you guys context, it is Sunday and we're shooting way earlier than we mm. usually do. That's because yesterday we had one of, I think, the most instrumental shoots to HST's future. Yeah. And I don't want to give away what we did, but just know that in a couple of weeks, you guys are going to understand why we don't call ourselves a podcast and why we term this show the greatest pod show. Yeah, we don't want to tease too much, you know what I mean? So yeah. we'll keep it low-key, we'll drop it on you guys. But yeah. it was definitely like one of the most fun shoots we've done. And I think we wanted to do something like this for a long time, so I'm glad we you know, finally did it. Yeah, and I just want to shout out everyone in this room who was there yesterday because it was a big production. All of y'all showed up, gave it y'all, and like I was so proud of the entire team, bro. Yeah, let's give it up for us. Yeah. And you, Sarah. You also there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I feel like on that note, if you guys remember when Drishti came on and we went to her pottery studio, yes, Sid had carved out a little message in a cup. Yes, we still haven't got that cup. Well, that changes today. Oh, no way. We have the pod show cup. So, because yesterday proved to me that we are the greatest pod show, I felt like it was the right time to get this oh, cup wow. on. That actually turned out nicely, guys. Yeah. yeah, and I was just wondering, like, if we could do something cool with it, as in, like, I feel like it's a, it's a, it's a source of pride, mm. you know? So, like, whoever wins, like, a game on okay. our show or whatever should get to keep this okay. on, like, their side of the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> You want, Sid you is going to do everything in his power to ensure that Ditya gets to keep this on his <laughs> side for the entirety of the show. So let's start with keeping it in the middle. All right. And then all we'll right, see right, where right. it goes from there. But yeah, guys, like I said, we had a busy schedule yesterday. So I asked the boys to come with some stories prepared. And I just thought it would be an old school kind of crew catch up episode. So the question that I asked them was, what is the scariest, almost terrifying thing that you guys have personally gone through? I won't throw you all under the bus. I'll go for, I'll go for Jay. So. Okay, so this isn't necessarily like the scariest thing, but in the moment, I was just like, I am going to die. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to die. Okay. Um, I went to like my bus stop in university and I realized I missed my bus. Okay. And it was like 11.30 and the buses weren't running anymore. For context, Jay yeah. went to college a little bit outside Boston, yeah, right? Yeah. So I had to make the walk on the road to my house. Right? And... There was no lights on the road. It was literally road, forest, forest. Hmm. Okay. And there have been bear sightings all over that forest. It was in the middle of the winter. It was cold. Yeah. It was dark. It was like about a 15 minute walk. But every sound was like, like I'd hear like rustling in the woods oh, or something. Shit. And like I'd walk a little faster. But then I'm like, okay, if I walk too fast and I run, then I look like prey. So I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to walk too fast either. Right. So I got to like the lane. And my house is at the end of that lane and that is lit. And I just started running. Then yeah. I just started running. Like, whatever's chasing me, I can at least outrun it till I get to the gate. <laughs> but as soon as I was in like a lit area, I ran. Like I had my bag on. I had a winter coat on. I bounced, dude. When you were crazy. younger, were you scared of the dark? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, majorly. Like I thought there was like a werewolf living above my AC. And did you ever share a room with Salah? Did you always have your own room? Just asking. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought. <laughs> yeah, I used to like wake her up in the middle of the night if I wanted to go to the bathroom. Shut the yeah, fuck yeah, up. I yeah, did not know that. Yeah. I wasn't <laughs> setting you up. Dude, I was super, super scared. So like, y'all shared a room? I, yeah, we shared a room for okay. like the first 11 years. Okay. Okay. Damn, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was <laughs> like deathly afraid of the dark. Not anymore, though. So, yeah. you know, <laughs> no, woman, why would you have to wake her up, though? Because like, you know, you'd, oh, you put the lights on and you'd wake up. there, you know, like, yeah, you put the lights on and be like, yo, listen, I'm going to the bathroom. I'm sorry. <laughs> just bear with it. Until, like, I'm back. It is what it is. That's life. Okay. Like, you just deal with it. Just, that was like my worst fear ever. I think yeah. that's what helped me get over my fear of the dark. Because I was like, literally, I can do anything now. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, in our track, Adi, if you remember, we saw some bear trails also. Yeah. Our guide was like, this is very rare, mm. but... 
it could be really bad. If you sure it wasn't just you said <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> walking ahead of the group, it looks behind. Bro, like, I oh, think he was bullshitting us. <laughs> yeah. no he told way. me and Rohan about it. So, so yeah, but he like, tell you saw, anything? I mean, bro. we saw uh, we saw uh, <laughs> paw print, whatever you want to call okay, it. Okay, so it's like a large paw print. So whatever yeah. animal it was, yeah, oh, probably it's a bear. It was a bear. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. think it was a bad, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go say what? What was the scariest thing you've ever been to? Um, but you were a part of the story, if you remember. Okay. Uh, we were on a family trip, okay. and we went rafting. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go yeah. for the story. It's so a we were bang, in no. uh, we were in New Zealand, and we were out on a family trip. We were in Christchurch, the city which is known for its adventure sports and all, and all, and all of us were. We went rafting. Queenstown, Christchurch was the oh, sorry, boring ass place. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so <laughs> man's hating on Christchurch, bro. <laughs> Christchurch was really boring, bro. It actually was. It yeah. actually was. Okay, okay. The okay. name also sounds boring, yeah. right? <laughs> um, anyway, so we were we were rafting, and um, <laughs> there was this um, there was this time when so the thing with rafting is you sit in if you've rafted before you sit on the edge of the. <laughs> what happened? He's just saying Christianity is taking a big hit. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna start my story. Yeah, again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sorry, okay. Fine. Start. So yeah, um, Adi, one of my uh, scariest stories was when you were involved. You were a part of it, and mm. this was our uh, trip to New Zealand. Mm. When we were, we were gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro, I didn't think. I didn't think you were gonna start from so <laughs> yeah, far back. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on. Bro, just start from... <laughs> I thought I was start from the... <laughs> just start from the rafting, bro. What's up, guys? Because <laughs> <laughs> he was laughing the whole time. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Where do I start from? Start from uh, Queenstown. Yeah. Queenstown. Okay. I just said... No, bro, that was Queenstown. Yeah, so it was it was Queenstown. My bad. Um, and um, Queenstown is known for its adventure sports. And one of the things we did was river rafting. Hmm. Have you all rafted before, by the way? Am no. I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Bro, we gotta get over this. We can't no, keep no, rafting. No, no, I've never, I've never, I've never uh, gone rafting. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Start okay. from it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't fucking <laughs> deal with the story. Bro. Okay. Can you change the story? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Guys, guys, guys. Wait, wait, put it together, guys. Yeah, put it together. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> She's telling me what's the scariest <laughs> moment of his life, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Sound? Check it out. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. Okay. So yeah, we were we were in uh, Queenstown and we were rafting. Hmm. And uh, if you remember, Adi, you know when you're on those pa- on those boats, you have to sit on the edges of the boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they given us instructions of what to do and how to go about it. Uh, the thing was at one point when while on the river there was this massive drop, and I think it was a good ten meter drop. Yeah, it was a no, no, no. It oh. was. 15 meters, no, 45 no, no, feet. Sorry, sorry, 15 feet. It My was bad. 15 feet. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Where are you guys going? Rafting, bro. bro. <laughs> Remembering his whole vacation yeah. around yeah, Christchurch. Went rafting with like Tom Cruise or like what? <laughs> <laughs> no, so first of all, they, they gave us very clear instructions on what we have to do. Okay. Of course, Sid doesn't fucking listen. <laughs> So he literally just left his hands at the time where the drop is coming. Listen, listen, dude, it's a, it's a drop. There's impact. You your hands are, you're bound to like take a jerk, you know? So I took a jerk and it's like, imagine this big me getting flipped off and falling right in the water, in the, in the water. Damn, now the, dude, now the thing is, I man. obviously knew that, yeah, like it's safe. I know that, but at the moment, it was me just going down into yeah. this like, oblivion. Yeah. And I had no idea what. And I, I kid you not, I was literally, in my head, I was like, okay, this is it. Like, Damn. this is it. Damn. All this happened in a space of three to four seconds. So it was not that much time. Yeah. But I just at that moment, maybe I was, a, I was a much younger, obviously. And How old were you? I was like 10, 11. Yeah, so oh, shit. Sure. must have been like 18. 25 or something, no? <laughs> 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 I was probably 18 or 19, yeah. So oh, sh- like you were like... Pretty old then, bro. Yeah, but I was down also. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> man, so, that, that actually so I'm, scary, I'm, big, I'm going down, going down. The water's freezing, and then suddenly this uh, something hits me, and there's it's basically the the paddle of the kayak of uh-huh. the guy next okay, to us, okay, and then okay. he just like held onto that, and he pulled me out of yeah, the water, yeah. and it was just like, coming back to life. But damn, it was it was a good experience, but that little moment was was a bit scary. Yeah. 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 Holy shit. Dude. And I'm. Um, <coughs> Sorry, getting emotional about it. No, no, okay. <laughs> no, no. But say, did you see your life flash before your eyes? 
Like was I that a, was I, that a I, thing? I, I did. What I were did. your fondest memories I up did. to uh, that point? I don't know. I just saw some faces and oh, I, who did you see, bro? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you remember everything else with the faces. <laughs> it was it was it was quite scary though. Yeah, man, I can imagine, dude. Would you have have? Uh, would you do you want to go rafting? Do you yeah, sure. I don't, I wouldn't mind at all. I loved it, sure. bro. That was yeah. that was one of my favorite trips ever. So, <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, not not because like drowning. <laughs> it was like yeah. <laughs> Dude, I was like 10, 11, and on that trip, we did like a bunch of adventurous shit, okay? Like bungee jumping and stuff. <laughs> you were 10, 11? Yeah. How did you fit on the raft, bro? What do you mean? <laughs> when you were 10, you were pretty large, right? Yeah, but bro, that worked in my favor because all the adventure sports didn't have age limits. They had weight limits. Oh, okay, okay So okay. I was like, I always hit the weight limit thing, bro. <laughs> so just this massive 10-year-old like having the time of his life, bro, you know? Are these are a lot of illegal stuff in New Zealand, which he's not sure he shouldn't be doing. Like bungee jumping, river rafting. Yeah, bro. He, At 10 years old. 10 years old. They thought they were like, this dude has to be at least 50. Bro, like, <laughs> so we went to the bungee jumping place like a day before and I was 49 kilos and they were like yo yo like the limit is 50 that night I went hard <laughs> <laughs> I came back the next day determined to fucking bungee jump I even have a video of this of me just like up on that bungee jump thing I'm yeah. in shorts I'm in yellow shorts yeah, yeah. I just look down and it's like a river flowing down and I'm just like oh shit and I just jump Oh man! Uh, no, I, I'll, I'll say this, Adi. Of all of us, you were the most um, courageous out there because everyone was up there. Yeah, because he was ten. Like, he didn't know like the dangers of the world <laughs> yet, bro. He didn't, like, yeah, he didn't have depth perception, bro. Like he was just like, yeah. Big all, all, all of us were on edge, like teetering around, like oh fuck, like peeking. And this guy just goes up and going like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh good crazy, story, bro. Sid. I forgot about that. Yeah, that, was, that was a great trip. But Sid yeah, will uh, never forget about that, <laughs> bro. Sid's sound effect for the bungee jumping was <laughs> <laughs> toy. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> mine is like not it was a lot scarier in the moment I'll say that this is when we had just gone to college or like being a semester in or something and we had gone to like someone had rented like an apartment in West Hollywood and there was, there was th throwing like a house party or whatever in those days I didn't drink so I was like you didn't drink? no nah, so I was like dead sober I didn't drink until I was like 21 really? okay yeah Um, and so I was dead sober and everyone else obviously was like fucked up, like that 18 is scary, or whatever. Bro. Thanks and for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> they were all so drunk. <laughs> <around>. And <laughs> there was a bunch of like noise complaints. And eventually the cops were called. Okay. Mm. Now you're 18. You're like not a citizen of the country. Mm. Like you can get fucked if you're like underage drinking. Right. And we're not on campus. So it's mm. not like the school would have like. And like it was a bunch of kids from like UCLA and like our group from USC. And all the UCLA kids just like ran away when the guys were renting the house, okay? Yeah, okay? So we were also like, okay, fuck, we gotta, like, make a move for it, right? And because I was the only one who was sober, I'm, like, trying to get the whole, like, crowd together and we, like, get into, like, the service elevator because the cops are coming up from mm. the other side and you can see the, like, lights flashing outside and all the sounds. And there was, like, two people from UCLA, like, a football player and, like, his girl or whatever with us in the elevator, right? And it's a bunch of, like, Indian kids, like, freaking the fuck <laughs> out. And this one dude, and I'm also like, bro, like, I don't want to get fucked, right? I know I'm sober, but, like, I don't want to get fucked with these people, right? So, we're, we're, we somehow, we can't go to, like, the main lobby floor because, like, what if we meet the cops and shit, right? Like, That's oh, true. no. That's true. So then we, we went to, like, the, the parking lot, which was, like, underground. And then we realized, fuck, we're stuck here, mm -hmm. okay? Like, like, where the fuck do we go? Like, we don't know this building. And eventually, like, I, I was just, I don't know what got in me. I was like, yeah, guys, just follow me. No clue where <laughs> I was going. And I, like, just went somewhere and we reached, like, this opening, right? So we get to the outside. It's pitch black and it's raining, okay? Oh, so it's shit. intense as fuck. People are like, you know, like, oh, oh my God, they're shaking. Some of the girls were crying and shit. Like, oh, you know, okay. what's happening, right? The UCLA player and his girl are like strong enough to climb the fence on the other side and dip, okay? <laughs> so they climb the fence and then some of the like fucking five foot seven short Indian kings were like, yeah, Ivan, we'll climb the fence. <laughs> and I was like, no, you will not climb the fence. And then as those guys hop the fence, you can see the, the like the police lights come this side and we're like, oh fuck, where do we go? So now I'm stuck outside, right? It's raining. You can't see anything. My friends are crying. And again, I was like, yeah, you know what, guys? follow me I got this and I jumped on top of something and I, there was a bunch of plants and I was just like cutting my way through these plants you know like I was fucking Indiana Jones right I'm gonna find the fucking 
um, king, kingdom of the crystal skull or whatever <laughs> I'm going through, right? I can't see where I'm going. I'm like, yeah, I got this, guys. I know where we're going. Keep going. Everyone's like, oh my God, oh my God, you know? I'm, I'm like holding someone's hand and like they're crying. And I was like, oh fuck, you know, what's going to happen? Like, are we going to get arrested and shit? And eventually we just get to the other side. There were no cops. We got an Uber and went home. <laughs> 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 Bro, what the fuck, dude? I'm like, <laughs> but, Bro, and like, I mean, like, and like in retrospect, like if you think about it now, it's like we were in the middle of a fucking forest, bro. It was just like the garden outside the building. We just walked through, right? It was just like raining and shit. And we just like, all right, okay. We went to IHOP, got pancakes. And shit. It's like, okay, sick, bro. Good, good time. Uh, yeah, yeah. I thought he was going to play some Taylor Swift. Uh, <laughs> no, but that, I mean, I guess oh, that was no, pretty. Wait, that, so pretty they good. won't come. I mean, the cops had come, but they just weren't where you exited. Yeah, also, I don't think the cops really gave a fuck, bro. I think they just sent, like, two of the dudes who were just, like, loitering, saying yeah. there's a noise complaint. They probably would have been kids. like, yo, keep it down. And yeah. That was it. Like, you were, you were the McLo- McLovin that for that night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, I, I, I saved my friends, basically. You know what I'm saying? Some, some, some threw around the word hero. I, I, would, I would say that. I would not say to that. name any names, but... <laughs> You know, <laughs> <Got it. laughs> okay. Why don't you go with it? <laughs> um, yeah, sure. So, I don't know if you can live up to that one, though. So, oh, uh, hi, I can't imagine. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. So, I used to play a lot of chess, right? Back in the day. Oh, oh fuck no, yeah. I know this. I know That's scary, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> fuck you, got it yeah. back <laughs> on this guy, bro. My party was scary. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, I'd gone to Chennai for a tournament. And this was in the ninth grade. I flew back, um, like, on a Sunday night. I'd missed mm. two weeks of school. So I was like, oh, I really want to get back to going to school. And I just fell asleep. Like, my parents weren't at home or something, so I just didn't say hi to anyone. I just fell asleep. I wake up at, like, 2 a.m. to go to the bathroom, get in there, and after peeing or whatever, I just pass out, okay? I don't know what happens. I don't know how long I'm out cold for. And then, then I come to, and I literally cannot f- get the strength to stand up mm. so i crawled to my parents room and i knock on their door and they thought it was like a blood pressure thing like my blood pressure just dropped or whatever so they just put me on the bed they were like okay you know what I just, just relax oh uh, i woke up in the morning i was like fuck it i want to go to school i'm walking out of the door suddenly i literally just fall flat onto the ground again mm. My daddy at this time had gotten like a knee operation. There was like a wheelchair in the house. My mom just took me on the wheelchair, took me to the emergency room. From that point, bro, I was in the ICU for two weeks yeah. while they were trying to figure out what the fuck was happening to me. I had trouble breathing. Like I could not breathe. At one point towards like the end, they even did like this bone marrow test, which is something yeah. that you do when you suspect someone of having cancer. So... This bone marrow mm. test is the single most scary thing I've ever done in my life yeah. because you're not allowed to be unconscious for it. So I'm in the ICU. They put you on, on your side. Okay, you're naked. You're on your side. This therapist comes in and she's like holding your hand and she's just like talking you through how painful what is going to happen is going to be. And I am 14 years old at this point and no one else is allowed in the ICU. Right? Like your parents aren't allowed to visit you. you are, nothing is... Uh, happening so she's in the room with me and they put me on the side and then like three four other like uh, stewards come in to hold you the doctor comes in and he puts like a needle in your lower back spine when he does that you feel like you have no hip and you feel like you're just floundering around like a fish like you know like just washed up on the shore and they literally have to grab you so that you don't flounder so much and i had no idea what this test was for but my mom was telling me later, like after I got done with all of this, that it was for like to check if I had cancer or whatever. Mm. And what was scary to me was how scared she might have been yeah, yeah, outside yeah. not being allowed to even enter, yeah. knowing that they're doing this shit to like her son or whatever. Bro, those two weeks passed. We still, to this date, yeah, I don't uh, know what was yeah, wrong yeah, with yeah. me. I was gonna. I was gonna ask. Did you ever find out what it was? Never. Because I came to visit you in the hospital, yeah. and it was like he was like a skeleton like his cheeks were like sunken in and he was just like hunched over like that and i was like holy shit dude. bro I, like i do not like, remember crazy, those bro. two weeks of my life because yeah, i just crazy. felt like i was sleeping the entire time or i think you, like blocked it out almost bro yeah it was fucked yeah, and i remember was, they used scary to one. like every every couple of hours they used to bring out a bunch of um 
calamine, lactocalamine yeah. from yeah, the yeah. freezers yeah. and then just like lather my entire body with it because I was breaking out in so oh, many hives. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Damn. But it, I had no allergic That's reaction crazy. apart from that and then like other shit was going on like that my hormones were just fucked up. I don't know what the fuck went wrong, bro. It was it was scary. Like I remember, <clears throat> I remember that time because we tried everything. We just couldn't figure out what's like, I mean, with all the knowledge we have, how can you not know what's wrong? Yeah, like and I was gonna say, they still don't know what's wrong. They still don't yeah. know what's wrong. Yeah, who knows, bro? It could have been. Could've it was been anything, it was honestly. mess. Like I remember coming and seeing you. Yeah, you were bad, dude. Yeah, fuck. yeah, right. It was yeah. crazy, bro. I remember a very cute story from that though. As soon as I was in the hospital. The first person who came to meet me was a Ryan. Yeah. And he came from like his karate class. Like he came fucking running. We're all like 14 years old at this point. He came running in his full karate judo, uniform, judo uniform with his fucking yellow belt yeah. on and shit. And he was like, where's the Dityas? He was going to fucking save me or something. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was, that was scary, man. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, yeah, probably nothing compared to that cop story though. But yeah, <laughs> for sure, dude. <laughs> Okay, bro. <laughs> I, I picked the fun one, bro. Yeah, no, no, I like it. You know I what I mean? I thought I'd thought thought like, like thought lighten, good. I thought lighten, thought lighten the mood and it shit, is, bro. You should have gone last, bro. Yeah. No, <laughs> no. Imagine if he tells us the story of yeah. that, like, <laughs> death's door, and I'm like, so, guys, I walked through a garden <laughs> in the rain. <laughs> yeah, don't play it down, bro. Don't play it down. <laughs> I mean, you already hear that nightmare. No, but that's the thing with like scary stories, bro. Like, at least for us three, not for you, obviously. Oh. Yeah. Stained, but like, it, like, those. Our stuff lasted for like barely an hour. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Like yours mm. lasted for like five seconds. Mine lasted for like half an hour. Yours yeah. was over like 14 days and 14 <laughs> nights in, in your head. But like, that's the thing, man. These scary things, they happen to you and everything slows down. Yeah. You know what I mean? It just goes in slow motion when anything happens like that. Yeah. Crazy. It's interesting how like, when you're having a lot of fun, shit flies by. And then when you're having a terrible time, it's just so slow, bro. Yeah. How long has this shoot been running? <laughs> <laughs> It reminds me to think that Andy said at the end of the office. Yeah. You know the the, the one line that he said, oh, which is like an so, iconic line. So what does he like, say? Um, I I wish you knew uh, you I were in the good old days when you're when in you're, the, you're when you're in the good old days. Guys, for butchering days. the whole thing. Say it. One no, of yours no, fucking say it. No, you go. Go. Please. I can't. I cannot. Uh, he says that I wish there's a way of knowing you're in the good old days when you're in the good old days. Okay. That was that was emotional as hell, man. Like I that office finale was painful, bro. Yeah. I hate finishing sitcoms. I know. It's the worst. Yo, shout out AXN, shout bro. Out like, AXN. Dude, shout out Amazing Race, bro. We should do an Amazing Race episode, bro. Dude, yeah. you guys watch Amazing Race? Speaking of that, bro, let's, why don't we talk about some of the suggestions we got for the trip? Oh, yeah, for sure. Because dude, we got a lot of suggestions, man. Tell them what yeah. we're talking about, Jay. Uh, so we recently, I think it was in the travel episode, uh, announced that the boys would be taking a trip to somewhere in India. And... We put up a poll on our Instagram of where we should go because we really want the audience to kind of participate in the trip and like, you know, the activities we're going to do, where we're going to go. So we got a bunch of suggestions on that story post. So you want me to just run through them? Yeah, go And then it, we'll see what each of us gravitate yeah, to. Okay. So okay. we have Rajasthan, Kasol, Goa, Pondi, Tamil Nadu, Andaman Islands, Kerala, Rajasthan again, Kashmir, Andaman again, Ladakh. Kodai Kanal. Andaman again. Kasol again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, surf trip to Kerala, Pondicherry. Corbett for safaris. Oh. Yeah, okay, so I'll tell you what I'm gravitating the most towards to is uh, the safari and Andaman. Because actually, I don't know if Aman can breathe underwater because he <laughs> barely breathe on land. But, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I think I'm trying Oh, to but you have to breathe with your mouth though underwater, so I you'll actually be fine. Ah, so you'll be fine. So I would say, I, I would say personally, I'm leaning to that. If you guys, I don't know about what the you reason guys are I'm thinking. not leaning to Andamans because I think I might go before okay, we have to okay, go. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I, then the, I like the safari then, honestly. The safari is cool, but I was feeling like a, a hilly, like Ladakh, Kashmir place a little bit more. I would love to go to Kashmir, bro. Oh, so it's either Goa or Pondi, bro. I think, yeah. Bro, it's on a chill trip, man. I think it's, it is boy trip, trip, bro. Go uh, on. Uh, uh, what do you mean? I want to go somewhere I haven't gone. I've gone to both those places extensively. I think we explore a different side of Goa. I think there's a lot of Goa we don't see because we oh, have like a, a chill at party, but there's like a great culture of like food and the history in Goa. And like, there's a little bit of everything. I, I, I think you're saying. We represent yeah. like, we represent, we're sub well, we're supposed to, we sort of de facto start representing like boys' groups. 
and I think like Goa is a classic boy strip. How long did it take you to say that? That we were just like, <laughs> like I agree with that though. Like, I mean, I think we can have a really fun Goa trip, but I feel like if we want to do like something different, I feel like if we want to do something different, like yeah, I mean, also, so like, what would we film on a safari trip though? Like. You know, like it, it's not like we're gonna interact with the animals. I, I don't want us to think from the perspective of what's gonna be interesting to film. I want to go from the perspective of what's gonna be interesting to travel to. Yeah, I want to travel to Kashmir for sure. Uh, yeah, also like I can't breathe, right? I don't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna take him higher, bro. Like you're gonna take him. Come <laughs> on, just man up. Bro, we can't uh, go above sea level. Bro. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> then I feel like the compromise is safari-ish. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it would be cool as fuck. We can find some really cool safari spots. Like, not just the safari. Like, it can be on, like, a river or something. Like, I think if we look, we can find some really cool spots. Here's the reason I said go out, Pondi. I think it would be cool if we go on this trip and each of us plan a mystery activity for the other three. And I feel like a place like Goa or a place like Pondi... Like, Sarah's just loving this the most. He is just like, <laughs> he he wants to like, fucking go to like, Goa. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So okay. So you go to a place that like allows like a range of different things. Okay. Like when you go for a safari place, we can only safari. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you see what mm-hmm. I'm I, I I do want to. But safari. also, I just like saw the list mentally, yeah. and I saw that you know Goa was like number one. So yeah. I think we should. I think we should go to Goa. I'm down to go to oh, Goa. You saw the list before you. it came into his phone, and I'm down to do a Goa road trip though. Go on a road trip. Oh. Yeah. You want to drive there? Yeah, yeah bro. Or, or even, I think that's even wasting a, a day, bro. Bro, it's, that's the journey. That's the beauty of it. So you, you leave at like, you leave at 5 a.m. and you're there by... 1, 2 p.m. 1 p.m. Yeah, we yeah, can do whatever, anything. Bro. I just think a road trip is always fun. If we're doing a road trip, then let's do a road trip. No, don't do uh, a road, uh, road trip and a go out trip. You know what I'm saying? No. Okay. Bro, why would we waste like fucking 11 hours? Uh, like we're going to stop and eat and chill and whatever. So, yeah, but why do you look at it as wasting? That, that's You're negative. the one who just... That's a negative, that, it's yeah. a, it's a negative word to use. I think it would be better spent, let's say. How about that? Let me, let me change my phrasing. Depends on how long we go for. So if yeah, we're going course. for three days, I maybe concede to your yeah, point. But I mean, this is going to be a hard debate. So we'll figure it out. In so the- wait, why don't we do this? Why don't all four of us pitch... Pick okay. one thing, got it, got it, got it. We'll put it up on polls, and then they'll cool. decide. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Just for argument's sake, Oh, oh, oh y'all want to go... come to two, because even I'm feeling Goa now <laughs> that he <laughs> said it, bro. <laughs> I'm also <laughs> feeling Goa. <laughs> and and Serach has been beaming from the start. He's just been like, yeah, dude, let's <laughs> fucking go, dude. Yeah, I'm down, I'm down. Goa, Goa, Goa. Go on. But uh, we <laughs> said we're going to let them decide. So. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> they have decided Goa. Yeah, they... We, we, no, no, no. It's, it's I thought suggestion. the polls, are we doing polls? No, why? No, we got the suggestions. Yeah, we we got take suggestions it. and then we make the final decision, yeah, bro. Yeah. Okay, fine. Go ahead. Let's go. Let's bro. go. And finally, guys, uh, I know we teased what we did yesterday a little bit. And going from that episode, we have something to add to the empty shelf. I know y'all won't understand what this is right now, but give it until the 4th or 5th of March. That's when we're planning to drop the episode and y'all will get it. So this is... This is one of my favorite items we're adding to the shelf. There we go. Brilliant. Awesome. Yeah, it's been a really fun weekend, guys. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode. Actually, not even. We won't see them on the next episode. Y'all will we'll, see. Y'all will see us on the next episode. Y'all will see, y'all us, see, on see us. Haven't said that.